Hey everybody, so today I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a new way to sidechain or create a sidechain like effect. It's not actually using any compressors. So it is not sidechain compression, but it gives you the same end result. Um, so let's get started. The first thing you're going to want to do is probably just have a kick pattern. I make house music, so I'm starting with a house kick pattern like so. Four kicks all on uh, the 4-4 four, four beat. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, I'm going to demonstrate this using white noise. You could use synths. I love to use it with synths, but I'm going to demonstrate this effect with white noise. So I'm going to create an audio track and I'm going to import a white noise sample. Here's a good one. Cool. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is using your synth or white noise, whatever you're going to try and sidechain, you're going to want to make it one quarter beat long so that it's as long as each kick drum is. So, and then I'll duplicate that four times. So now what I am left with is uh, four kick drums and four white noises. Uh, but if I was if I were to play it, which I will in a second, you'll hear it's just straight up white noise on top of a kick, no side chain going on at all. Here, here it is. All right. So instead of adding a side chain compressor. Uh, or a compressor and side chaining, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to be using the fades to fade the audio out around the kick drum so that it sounds just like a side chain. Um, so what you'll need to do is you'll need to, to go up to the snap grid up here and move it over to 64 so we can get really intricate and moves, make some small changes. Um, the next thing you're going to do is click on your audio track that you are going to want to side chain. Um, and then on the left side you'll see a little ball here and you will hold the ball or, yeah, yeah, I guess I love to hold balls. <laughs> yeah, you're going to move the ball uh, over to the right. So you're going to drag it from the left to the right so that it ends up coming all the way to the top right around when the kick drum ends. I don't like to bring it to the very end because then it gets a little too side chainy, a little too pumping. I think that right around here, if you have it come up a little bit before the kick ends, right around here, you get the best result. But that's just my opinion. So actually, let me just move, I don't need to do that. Let me delete these guys and copy and paste here and let you guys hear what this sounds like. So as you can hear, it's a, it sounds like sidechain, but it's, it's really intense and it really, uh, what you have is you have the sound coming in right around the kick. You can get really specific to whatever kick size you have, and it's a visual way to see this. It's a, it's a, for people that are visual learners, this is a really great way to uh, build the right side chain for your song. Um, now you can also get creative, and if you move the side chain far to the right, as you'll hear, you'll get a really quick side chain. And if you move it very far to the left, you'll get an extremely long side chain, very pumping. And that's basically it. You're using fades to create a fake side chain, and I use this on everything. I love to do it with bass. But the only thing is, since we're using audio for this, if you're going to use a synth, what you're going to want to do is just record yourself playing a note, uh, and then bounce it to audio and bring it in and fade it like this. You're not going to be able to actually fade a mini note. It has to be audio. So this, once again, only works for audio, but I think it works pretty well. So I hope you guys use this effect. If you want to get even more intricate, uh, what you can do, oops, I shouldn't have done that, is let me move the fade back so I have a regular white noise. This is one other technique, which I don't use very often because this fade works for me. But if, if it doesn't seem like it's enough for you, try this out. Go to your mixer. Right click on whatever audio you want to sidechain the uh, level. So I'm editing the automation for the level of this white noise. And then when I go back to my sequencer, I'm going to draw in a box for this automation. And it's going to be the size of a quarter note beat, just like the others. And then I'm going to have take the snap grid and make sure it's off so that we can actually draw a U shape to kind of mimic what we want, mimic the kick drum. So the kick drum is not just a diagonal. The fades, unfortunately, in Reason only go in diagonals. Please correct me if I'm wrong. I'd love to find out a way to make the fades curved, but as far as I know, you can only fade uh, in diagonal in Reason right now. But if you want to draw a curved uh, automation, you could just do it like this. And as you can see, that's more that's a curved version. And then you just copy and paste, and it would sound like this. 
I personally think the fade works just fine though. So I hope this was helpful guys. I got plenty more tutorials on the way. It feels great to be making these again. Um, hope you guys are well.